going on gang hey so in this video this will be a deploy in a river type setting or a setting where you're deploying without the without a dock in sight uh i'll show y'all how i'll be doing it with the sun tracker it's pretty simple uh, i'll also be doing another video on launching it by yourself in this scenario as well but this time i think i'll be having my wife getting the boat out of the actual water itself um if you don't have your ties in the back i would suggest you get them just for safety purposes when i got mine it did not come with the tie downs on the back uh, so make sure you get those tie downs um let me think what else what else what else what else what else what else that's about it uh, and i'll see y'all when i get the boat in the water hey so that's the thing i wouldn't best practice i wouldn't unhook your boat until you get close to the water all right so that's that's one thing all right Let's see if i can do this and hold it get close to your actual water because I have seen instances where the the boat falls off. Alright. Shit. Get to it on the next step. I got them in the driver's seat. It's pretty simple. So we'll do. What I usually do I let them come on back. As you see, I took the trolling motor out the front. Come on. Come on. I like to have them come back enough for I start feeling the boat kind of float a little bit. All right. Once I feel the boat kind of float a little bit, I just use the rear. The rear arm. Finish the rig. Let's see. Let's see. It's so simple to launch this boat. All right. It's real simple. next video i definitely make sure i uh, do one with launching it solo make it easier for younger people and older people all right so i make a little bit more tips on coming back in when we're docking it so see y'all then all right now i'm in the truck bagging up extra trailer up let me see if i can show y'all you really want to bag it up enough where you still got some of your trailer exposed you don't want to have too much coming too much into the water it's about right there so when I say you want to leave some of your trailer exposed, you want to have some of it exposed. You don't want to put the whole thing in the water. And uh, I'll show y'all how I put it on. Just got done fishing. Caught a bunch of white bass. And today, I actually had eight people on it, even though it, I know the limit is seven or up to 1,098 pounds, I want to say. So we was definitely at that threshold, but we fished comfortable. Boat is a little junky still, but hey, we got it done today. Can't really see them in there, but they ain't there. All right. Sit there for that view. And 
this will be a setting if the wind is pretty high today so what i like to do my trolling motor in the front i like to almost put that directly in the middle of my trailer when i'm bringing it around and this is a slow process take your time the pontoon is a little bit different when you are putting it on but this way has been pretty good with me as far as how i've been docking it putting it back on uh as long as i got some of my trailer exposed to help guide it i've been good to go so like i said leave some of your trailer exposed out of the water take your time when you're going towards it and kind of use the center of your trolling motor in the front to kind of guide you center mass of your trailer all right so we're gonna try to get center mass of the trailer with the trolling motor it's almost i ain't gonna say dummy proof but hey that's what you want to say that's what you want to say but i mean it's been working for me so we're gonna do center mass center mass center mass boom we on use it use your engine in the back boom and we on come to the front of your boat I'm gonna do go clip it on. Ah. And ours will be underneath. Where is it? Boom. Put the safety one on. What I like to do is use my wrench to bring it on a little bit closer. Alright. Right, right on. Swing around. Oh, that's it. No dock in sight. Solo dolo. That's how you do it. Make sure when you bring it out of the water, turn your engine off. Bring your motor up. Just in case it don't hit any nicks or crannies on the back side when you're taking it out of the water. When you're taking it out of the water, Take your time, bring it out slow. Let that rear end kind of swing towards you. That's it. That's how I do it. More of a river setting or a setting where you don't have a dock to rely on. You go bring it out slow. All right. Slow, you'll see it kind of swing. Boom, see how it's on? There you go. And that's it. 